Hey guys, bought a new microphone today uh, as an update to my uh, Blue Snowball. So this microphone, Razer Siren, is approximately double the price of my old Blue Snowball. So I want to compare the two sounds with you and see which one you think is better. So let's talk a little bit about the microphone before we start using it. So basically um, this is the front of the microphone and it's got a volume knob and you can move it up and down like this. So this is the volume knob and there is a button here that you can put it on mute and if you go to the back of the microphone, okay, there is a gain knob at the bottom which you can say how sensitive the microphone is and the P knob tells you uh, you can use it to choose between different pickup patterns so for example if you're only speaking from the front of the microphone you would use the first pickup pattern uh, cardioid so if you're just speaking in front of it you would be using this cardioid pickup pattern there but if you're playing an instrument you might use the stereo pickup pattern or something like that so once you select a pickup pattern here okay if you select a pickup pattern using this knob then it should show at the front in the LED in the LED display which pickup pattern you're using so I'm just going to use the first pickup pattern, the cardioid one, because I'm speaking in front of the microphone. And let's see how, how it is. Hey guys, I'm now on the Razer Siren on my desktop. Actually, both the Blue Snowball and the Razer Siren are recording at the same time. So I'm going to switch between the two inputs so that you can decide for yourself which microphone is louder or better or whatever so once you have installed the siren what you need to do is um, you need to go to uh, the firstly you need to go to the website razorzone.com slash synapse and you need to download this program that comes with the soft uh, comes with the microphone uh, actually let me say that again um, you need to go to this website and download it because the microphone doesn't come with the CD. So download it for Windows 10. Once it's downloaded, an icon should pop up, pop up on the bottom right hand corner. And that's when you can open the program and you should be able to configure your microphone's bitrate and sampling rate. And I'll let the audio experts uh, do research on what they mean, but the higher your bit rate is and the higher your sampling rate is, the larger your recording files are going to be. So to me, they all sound the same after I turn it up to the highest. It still sounds the same to me, so I'm just keep the, keeping them low so I can get smaller recorded files. And once you play around with that, another thing you also need to do is make sure you go to the control panel and look for the sound settings. And you need to make a decision on whether you're going to plug headphones into the Razer Siren. Alright, so I have already disabled it, so it hasn't shown up. But if you right click, you can just click um, show disable devices, which is what I just did. So show disable devices and then uh, the Razer Siren shows up and it's currently disabled. You can enable it if you want. Um, but what happened after I installed it was it actually switched to this by default and then I couldn't hear any sound through my speakers anymore. So I'm disabling that. I guess this is used when you want to plug a headphone into your Razer Siren because then you can listen to your sp listen to yourself speak into the microphone as you're recording if that's what you want to do but I don't need to do that so I just disable that 
And by the way, the volume knob at the front of your microphone actually controls the uh, headphone volume, not the speed, uh, not the uh, microphone volume. Just so, just so that you know. Um, so then, what happens is uh, I've disabled that, and in recording, you can see which microphones you have on right now. And um, I actually don't want this microphone anymore, so I can disable that. But you can see that both the blue snowball and the razor siren is recording and the microphones are the same distance from me so you can tell how much louder the razor siren is so I've turned up the razor siren uh, gain to the full gain so you can this is pretty much as loud as it'll go okay I'm and I'm about I'd say 40, centi 40 centimeters or 50 centimeters away from both microphones. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of the tutorial, guys. Hopefully, you've uh, learned something from this. I'll see you next time.